Okay, I'm going to show you how to edit a video from a Canon 5D Mark II or 7D or a 1D Mark IV in Final Cut Pro or Express or iMovie. It's actually quite simple. Uh, the video that comes straight out of the camera, uh, you can edit it in Final Cut, but you have to render all of the video, and it, it's just it's a pain. It's, you, you have to convert it to something else before you can edit it properly. So, to do this, you launch a handy-dandy little program called MPEG Stream Clip. This program is awesome, it's free, just Google MPEG Stream Clip and you can get it. Uh, so we're going to go to, I, I have my card plugged in already, it's already mounted here. You can copy the files to your computer first, but I'm just going to leave them on the memory card and just copy them on the fly. Uh, to open one file, you take it and you just drag it in. But I have a bunch of files, so instead I'm going to go list, batch list, add files. I'm going to point to my EOS Digital, my DCIM folder, and here are all of my MOV files. Click on the first one, scroll down to the bottom, hold down the Shift key, click on the last one, and it automatically selects all, the, all of them. Click to batch. Now this comes up and says, what do you want to convert? I want to export to QuickTime. Okay. Where do you want to save them? Well, I don't want to save them in the same spot. I want to save them on my computer. Uh, I would probably save them, uh, well, wherever you want to put them. So here, I'll just, for simplicity, I will just say here, converted files on my desktop. Create. Select. Now this will pop up. Um, if you are editing in Final Cut Pro, then you have a lot more codecs to work with. Uh, and a really good one to work with is um, Apple XDCam. Uh, 1080p30 variable bitrate. Um, if you have the new firmware update for your uh, 5D Mark II, then you and you're shooting in 24 frames a second, then you could do Apple XDCam P24, uh, and that will be good. The great thing about XDCam is it's a good codec to edit with, and the file size is about the same file size as what the camera shoots with, so you're not going to have tremendously large files to work with, which is good. Now, that's what we would use if we were Final Cut Pro. If you are using Final Cut Express, then there's really only two codecs that you can work with, uh, and only one for HD, and that's Apple Intermediate Codec. That's the codec, the only HD codec that Final Cut Express uses, so you would select that. Set your quality to 100%. 1920 by 1080 unscaled, turn off interlace scaling, uh, uncompressed, stereo, auto, auto, and you'd hit to batch. Uh, so I am using Final Cut Pro, so I'm going to set this to XDCam P2435 and to batch. I click go. And, I, and basically wait for these to process. Depending how many you have, this might take an hour. It only might take a few minutes. Uh, so let it chug along. Okay, so uh, I just uh, skipped some time there. I only converted a couple videos. So uh, those are now done. And we can minimize this and minimize this. Now, I'm assuming here that you have the latest firmware installed for your 5D Mark II uh, that allows proper 29.97 or 23.98 frames per second. The older firmware is only 30 frames per second as opposed to 29.97, which is the standard. So anyways, if you don't have the latest firmware, install the latest firmware and that just make sure everything will work right. So on our desktop here, we have these two converted files. They are the proper format and everything. So uh, I'm going to go to Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm going to go to Easy Setup, HD, and Use. And I'm going to select the same codec that I converted into, which was um, XD 1080p30. Well, actually, I had. XD, where's my 30? Oh, here we go. I was 24 frames a second. So, here we go. HD, XD cam, 1080p, 24, variable bitrate. 
There we go. And hit setup. So now all the settings for Final Cut Pro are the same as my video. I go new project. I would save, always save your project first. I'm just going to skip that because this is a tutorial. Go to import files and I'm going to import these two uh, video files. And go boom, hit choose, boom. Now here's my video files. I'm going to change my view here to list. And now scroll over. Our frame sizes are the same, our frame rates are the same, and our codecs are the same, which mean, and our audio is all the same, which means I can now edit this video perfectly in Final Cut Pro. Um, and if you were using uh, Final Cut Express, then the only thing you would have changed was when you went here to Easy Setup, you would have done HD and you would have had, uh, you can't do 24 frames a second in, I don't think, in, in uh, Final Cut, or maybe you can, I can't remember, uh, but you would have selected Apple Intermediate Codec, um, 1080i60, I think, and then uh, imported your video, and it would work. So that's how you, uh, if not, you can Google it, but that should work and uh, then your video should uh, match and you should be able to edit it. Same thing if you go into uh, iMovie, if you convert it into Apple Intermediate Codec, then iMovie will, you'll be able to import the video into iMovie too, you shouldn't have to transcode.